What time is it? Um, it's 3 a.m. Oh, God. Will you be ready in uh, half an hour? <laughs> I doubt it, but I'll try. <laughs> still coming towards me uh, that was a heck of a drive uh, as you've seen in the video there's some signs of uh, autumn on the trees now this video we've come here to film uh, could well be narrated because once we got past Perth the uh, the wind gusted up and there's a gust of wind blowing now so we'll see when we get up to where we're going what it's like but I think we'll be narrating this so We've started out at House of Brewer, uh, and this is a treat for Helen because it's a birthday today. So we've got some shops here. Uh, so that's Helen's treat. Then just behind the shops, about a kilometre up the hillside, uh, there's a couple of waterfalls. So there's lower waterfalls and higher waterfalls. So uh, we're going to have a walk up there. Then we're going to have a Helen's treat around the shops for her birthday. Then we are 20 minutes away from our accommodation. So. Uh, this first video is a taste of Scotland. set up um, but the photography itself uh, was very challenging uh, we'd got the wind 
which meant uh, doing talking on B-roll uh, was going to be uh, challenging. Uh, we'd also got rain as well, and it was really unusual rain, and it just must be Scottish rain, because it was very, very fine rain, uh, the rain that gets you wet. And it would start to rain, then it would stop, then the sun would come out, and it would rain again, but it was really, really fine rain. So we'd set up the um, Osmo camera to do some filming, and it rained. And this was kind of the pattern for the next four days of what we faced whilst trying to film and photograph in Scotland. But it did turn out to be really, really good weather in the sense that after the rain, uh, we had light. And um, what this also did, it made me focus on the photography instead of the videography. So in a lot of the videos coming up, uh, filmed in Scotland, uh, there is some B-roll, but the majority of time are spent on doing photography. And the benefit of that was I got some really, really nice shots. And if I'd have spent more time on the B-roll, I probably wouldn't have been had time to take such nice images. So back to this location. I did get some shots, but what I had to do, if we take this scene, for example, that you can see here, I did an exposure here and the wind had blown all the foliage. So I needed to take uh, a faster shutter to freeze the foliage, which I did, and then a longer exposure to um, make the waterfall nice and blurred and milky looking which is what I like. So I took two separate shots and then combined the two shots together. I basically just painted the waterfall in to where I needed it to be. And this was the final shot. So it was an okay scene, nothing spectacular. This scene would be obviously a lot better uh, with more autumnal colors. That was probably a couple of weeks away looking at the surroundings. Uh, I then went to second waterfall and I did the same thing here. There was some foliage in the shot, so I took a slightly faster shutter speed and then did one to um, blur the waterfall and then combine the two images. So there's always a way of getting around things, but this location uh, did have a lot more to offer. Certainly the woodland looked really nice and you could probably spend a whole day here. But uh, at least I got some images from this location. the word shops and she was off uh, like a ferret down that hillside so we then went round the shops uh, but then we uh, had something to eat and this absolutely tasted amazing I'd read reviews about this fish and chip shop and looking at this video now I can mm, I can taste it again it was really good nice crisp freshly cooked chips, nicely cooked battered cod, uh, and some mushy peas as well. Fantastic. So, House of Brewer, if you're driving up or down the A9, uh, on your way to Inverness or down to Perth, this is a great place to drop in and visit. It's like a very high class 
uh, service area shops great food as we walked up the the brewer walk we could smell uh, roast beef cooking in the restaurant and the smell was oh oh yes but uh, yeah it's it is definitely uh, a good place to visit and we were just half an hour away uh, in our accommodation and I really wish we'd have gone back for that uh, fish and chips one night or maybe two nights it was absolutely it was the best fish and chips we tasted prior to this the best fish and chips we tasted was in Whitby in North Yorkshire but now House of Brewer fish and chips is top just one thing to share with you in the planning of this trip I bought uh, two of these which were uh, waterproof car seat covers. Um, now, with the knowledge that uh, it rains a lot in Scotland and the fact that we might be uh, falling over in mud, uh, I popped these on. They're about, I think it was 17 pound from Amazon, but they were well worth it because we did get wet. We did get a little bit muddy and there was no worry of getting the car seats covered in anything. So, uh, and also I'll continue to use these when I go out into the Peak District, doing photography and filming, I'll continue to use these. So there are, uh, you know, sometimes we buy things uh, on a whim, but these are probably uh, a very useful buy. Okay, so here's a preview of uh, the next video. And we drove down to Kilchurn Castle um, where we were very very lucky with the light we had some amazing light in the morning uh, and just as we left it uh, everything closed in and uh, we had a bit of rain and uh, we made our way next to Glencoe Mountain Resort parked up there and walked down towards the King's House Hotel getting compositions on the way so uh, thank you for watching this video Subscribe to the channel if you like this content, give the video a like, pop a comment in the bottom and uh, I'll see you later.